All right, in this video, we will go over how to uh, take the numerical solution results and uh, export them so we can extract the volume of the deformed trachea. And yeah, so the first thing is make sure we have it set to the true scale for the total deformation. And then right click on total deformation and export as an STL file. And I'll ask you where to save that. And I will save this in here as uh, trachea. I'm going to call it 100 pascals because it's convenient to also uh, keep an eye on, or when you're saving it, make sure you note how much pressure was added for us. We'll hit save. And now we'll close mechanical. And in your workbench home, uh, open, uh, fi or no, go under component systems and drag in geometry, create a standalone system. And right click on geometry and import geometry. Go under Browse, and go to wherever you saved your file, and open that SDL file. And then double click on Geometry to open it in Space Claim. This takes a minute. It's open now. Of course, if you wanted to open a different file later on, you also go to File, Open, and then uh, oh, just when you're opening files, just change it to, um, go to All File Types, and you can find uh, other kinds of step files, STL files, that kind of things. So you can open those up. All right, for now, uh, what we'll do is we'll go up here, right-click on Facets, and Convert to Solid Merge Faces. That takes a half second to do. Then go over to Repair missing faces and we'll need to add the faces on the ends so I'll find two you'll see these red circles so just click on the first circle and it'll add the missing face and then go to the other circle click on that it'll add the missing face and now we have a solid body so we can go up to measure mass properties click on the solid body and it'll give us the volume in cubic millimeters and that's all